everybody. Drew in the moment here outside of Epcot, ready to go on the Disney Skyliner. I'm super excited. Uh, I can't wait to see how fast these things go. But, uh, let's go do it. Come on. And here we are at the Disney Skyliner. Very excited. I really can't wait to see how fast these things fly. And I'm also curious about the ventilation in here. I want to see if they're going to be, uh, you know, not too hot. And this uh, board is where all these are going to, here from Epcot. Okay, so we're boarding to go to R Riviera Resort, that's right, okay, and Caribbean Beach Resort, and then you get a transfer to these right here, I guess, from here, so. We just disembarked off our Skyliner pod. I don't even know if that's what they're called, but that's what I'm calling them. And we are here at Caribbean Beach. So what we did was we took it from Epcot uh, over here to Caribbean Beach. And now this is where you have to get, you have to get off them if you want to transfer to go to Hollywood Studios. Or at least that's all I know so far. Hollywood Studios and Pop Century. Art of Animation. So, if you, yeah. So basically, Epcot to the Caribbean Beach, and then you take a transfer. So these are the options here at the Caribbean Beach Transfer Station. We're gonna go to Pop Century. Um, so over the over this way, obviously, is where that transfer is. And then if you plan on going to the Riviera Resort, or we can go back to Epcot or Hollywood Studios. So it looks like that way is Hollywood Studios and that way is Riviera and Epcot. So I have to admit the vibe here at this transfer station is kind of cool. It for me reminds me of almost like a train station. Kind of like a train station. It's pretty neat. Just so you guys know, maximum of 10 guests. Uh, and then if you're, you know, you have somebody that needs a wheelchair or something, you have a maximum of six. And I have to say, I am uh, pretty amazed with the amount of work and what they had to do to make these Skyliners happen. I mean... Thank you. 
And I think we're going to be able to get the dwarves. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. So, so we just got our own. We had to share one. Well, two of them earlier. So we got our own, and it is the Seven Dwarfs. So that's kind of cool. We're gonna head over to Pop Century, and I don't know, go have fun over there, putt around, see what, see what's happening. So, but I will say. These ventilation things are pretty cool. You can close them, I'm guessing, if you want to do that. Like in the winter time, when it does get a little bit cool here in uh, here in Florida, it can get a little cool. But for now, keep these open. It seems like there's enough ventilation in here, which is nice. Yeah, pretty good. I like them. So I just found out this is the only floating Skyliner um, station. Which is kind of neat. Please remain seated until the doors automatically open. When exiting the cabin, please supervise children. So we made it to Pop Century. So we it comes out on the bridge that connects Pop Century to Art of Animation. So I just I won't spend too much time in the vlog um, with Pop Century. Not that I don't love it, but this vlog's more about the uh, Skyliner. But if you have never been to Pop Century, it's it's a fun uh, fun cheaper resort. And when I say cheap, it's really not that cheap, but compared to some of the other resorts. But yeah, it's really fun. The atmosphere, you know, they got like big Play-Doh over there. Big uh, blue. It's just kind of funky, you know. They got 80s, 1980s theme, 1990s theme. Maybe I'll do a, a vlog about Pop Century one of these times, just because this was actually the first resort that I ever stayed at. So it kind of is um, close to my heart. And it looks like if you want to get some Skyliner gear, they have it uh, here at Pop Century as well. Got this cool shirt. I do like the shirt. I think that's really neat. And it looks like, uh, I thought these were cards, but I guess they are mystery pens. And in case, for the holidays, you need a Skyliner. Put on your tree. It's a cool little ornament, and this is twenty-eight dollars. And I think it's like uh, basically what they make bulbs out of, like Christmas bulbs. I don't know what the material is, but I know it's breakable. So keep that in mind. Just in case you got fifteen bucks hanging around, they got these rocking socks here. I like it, but they, they do, from a distance, kind of look like Christmas lights. Not that that's a bad thing. So we are leaving Pop Century here, and this will probably be a little bit better of a recording because, as you can tell, it's all clear because we're in one of the pods. Like I said, I don't know exactly what they call them. I'm calling them pods, I guess. Um, but there's no, they're not a character, like as you can tell all the Welcome other characters have, have like a label on it. We are on our way a decal, to Disney's so. Caribbean Beach Resort with connecting flights to Disney's Hollywood Studios and Epcot International Gateway. And watch your step. Thank you for flying with us. And for obvious reasons, the transfer station here, uh, trying to get to Hollywood or getting to Epcot, next to us is the Hollywood line, they're obviously going to be your longer waits because this is where everybody's transferring to, to get to the park, so just keep that in mind.
Just so you guys know, it's stopping here at the Riviera, and you can get out if you want to stop at the Riviera, but if not, you just stay on and the doors will close and bring you back to Epcot. Fun day with the Skyliners. Uh, I have to admit, very, very cool, very efficient. As long as they can keep them running, uh, yeah, it was get in, get off, no complications. The only thing I have to say is, if you are afraid of heights, a little, uh, you might want to maybe think twice about it because it, it does get fairly high um, in certain points. But overall. A plus, thumbs up for the Skyliner. I thought it was uh, a great addition to just, not even just for fun, but for transportation around the parks and around uh, a couple of the resorts. So, uh, but I'm gonna call it a day. Remember, only one way to live in the moment. So we see you next time.